Shalom. Kahalaina, Yahal Bashim Yahal Shah, Bashim, Rakaku Dash. Devil Nuns to the Elves and the Apostles, the Great Mr. Overwhelmed, Shalom, and 144,000. The remnant men, women, and children of the whole flesh, Shalom. This is the brother Kabar Yash coming back at you in another quick lesson. Do the spirit and power in Yahal Bashim Yahal Shah. Praise let's be added from straight to the point. Like these devils want moral censorship, man. Okay? So let's read this article. I actually got another article I want to show. Actually, I'm going to show about a couple of more articles. Okay, on this subject. Because <laughs> we also know that the famine of the world is close at hand. These devils are getting cut by this word and getting cut by the truth. So what they want. Okay, let's read this article. This is from the People's Voice TV, And it says, WF suggests hardcore censorship. As means of restoring public trust in global elite. <laughs> so they want hardcore censorship, man. In other words, yeah. Let's read. The people of the world are rejecting the globalist agenda because they have too much information at their disposal. According to the World Health yeah, World Economic Forum, which has ordered world governments to engage in hardcore censorship as a means of restoring public trust in the global elite. Nobody trusts these devils anymore, man. Nobody trusts the words of you devils anymore. Your enchantment in, on the world is coming to an end, okay? People have woken up, and let's open with, up with a scripture. Let's open up with a scripture. <clears throat> Oh, uh, no, no. I was going to read that scripture, but I'll come back to it. Anyway, Isaiah 25, verse 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So that covering cast, that veil that was once covered in an, over the nations, man, okay, including here in Babylon and Great America, is not being lifted. These devils are being exposed. That witchcraft is no longer working. Okay, let's get another one. Let's go to what's that? Nahum 3 and verse 4, I believe. Yep. Nahum 3 and 4. Because of the multitude of the well favored harlot, of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. Yeah. Lying to the people. Okay? Telling the people one thing when it's something else. Okay, and like it says, least Satan should gain advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, so people are waking up to Esau's BS, and these devils, they're pissed off. They're being exposed on a high, high volume every single day. Okay, Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 10 is, <laughs> it's basically living out, man. Okay, verse 5. Behold, I am against thee, said the Lord, and how about she and I host, and I will destroy thy spirit. Not, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face and will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. And that's what you see happening. These devils are being exposed and they don't like it. Their plans are being revealed. Okay? Their plans are being revealed. And people are waking up to the BS. Let's read this. Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Yeah, these devils are being exposed on a high volume, man. Okay, because of the men of the Lord. So this truth has reached into the gates of the nobles. Let's get that scripture. Isaiah 13 and verse 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Okay, the high mountain is America, Babylon the Great, because mountain represents big governments and big kingdoms, man. And America is that huge government that rules over the whole world, that kingdom that rules over the whole earth, man. The daughter of Babylon, America. Exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that it may go into the gates of the nobles. So the men of the Lord being out on the highways and byways doing these daily epistles, man, have exposed these devils, man. And this truth has gone into the gates of the nobles, man. These devils know who we are. The men of the Lord are. Okay? They know who we are, man. <laughs> they paying attention. Don't think they're not. <laughs> they plans are being revealed. They can Oh, let me get another one. I got another scripture. Hold on. 
<laughs> Let's get one of my favorite ones. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse uh, 15. Okay. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, how about Shion Shai, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Yeah. These devils think that no one sees them. They think the Lord, how about Shion Shai, don't see them, man. Everybody sees what you devils are planning. And people are rebelling. Like it says in Job chapter 20 and verse 27, the heavens shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. The earth, the people are beginning to rise up against these devils, man. That's why they want hardcore censorship. Okay, let's go back to the article. It says, Janine, what's that, Jan Borg, God, whatever the hell the name is. The president and CEO of Internews, an international nonprofit that provides support to media outlets in more than 100 countries, addresses how to prevent the spread of anti global misinformation during the a Davos conference panel titled Defending Truth. You devils ain't defending the truth, man. You devils are defending lies. Okay? Because if there was. Because if you was defending the truth, man, okay, people wouldn't be coming up against you devils. You devils don't do nothing but lie. Nobody trusts you devils anymore. Like it tells you in uh, Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. Nobody trusts you devils anymore. Okay? No one. No one believes you devils anymore, man. And that's why y'all mad. And that's why you calling for more censorship. Which is going to happen. They're going to eventually cut this internet off, man. Let's read a little bit more. It says, global trust in institutions is eroding. <laughs> Ooh. Reflected in how 40% of people consistently trust news. Empowering internet users with media information literacy. Advancing information integrity. And enhancing transparencies are vital for addressing the spread of false information, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. False information, huh? Whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, you think it's false. But everything the men of the Lord been prophesying is coming to pass. So the truth is already out, man. You devils can't, you know, try to cover up what you're doing. You're being revealed. And as a matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Let's get that scripture. Second Thessalonians. Two and mm, mm, I'll start verse three. Now I'm gonna read down to verse eight. Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, and said there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of prediction. That's Esau, you know, so called white man. Verse 4, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he asked God, sinneth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, man. Excuse me. These devils want to be like the most high. Okay? Knowing your every thoughts, knowing your every move you make, etc. That's why they want this digital device implanted underneath your skin, which is spoken of in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 through 18. Okay, and we all know what that small digital device is, man. Okay, the RFID C hip. Okay, verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Verse 6. And now ye know what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time. And he's being revealed. And these devils don't like it. That's why they're holding these meetings to try to what? Bring more censorship. Okay, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And that's what's about to happen. He that was about to be taken out of the way. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord Yahweh Shah shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. He's being consumed by this word, man, this truth. By the men of the Lord, the prophets. The mouthpiece of the Lord and how about some y'all shine? As a matter of fact, let me go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 5 and 14. Yep, right here. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 14. Wherefore, thus said the Lord and how about some y'all shine? Power of hosts. 
because ye speak this word, this truth. Behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. They're being devoured by the truth. Okay? And these devils don't like it. So what they want? Hardcore censorship. <laughs> okay? Let's read a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Let's go down. Let's, it says, Blaze Report. I'm not going to read this lady's name. It says, this person explained that one of the most effective ways to keep people from being exposed to so-called inaccurate information is to develop lists or guides for advertisers that tells them where to and where to and where not to spend. Unbelievable. This information makes money and we need to follow that money. No... What y'all doing is uh, this and misinformation, okay? Truth don't make no money, okay? And we need to work with, and work with, in particular, the global advertising industry, this person says, a lot of those dollars go to pretty bad content, so you can work really hard on exclusive, exclusion lists or inclusion lists just to really try to focus their ad dollars towards the good news and the information the accurate and relevant news and information this person expresses f frustrations that social media platforms do not employ enough trust and safety safety people to monitor and remove disinformation shared on their platforms no you ain't removing disinformation you're removing um truth okay because if it wasn't the truth you people would just look at it and just laugh at it and be like ha 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 that ain't the truth but no y'all devils are worried you're being exposed so of course you want to uh, remove this and what you claim what they like you get uh, like us, some of us brothers we get strikes for uh so-called medical and you know medical misinformation etc if it was so-called medical misinformation then why would you remove it if it's not the truth then you will laugh it off but you devils look man you devils are scared man that's all it is you're being revealed according to internews websites the uh, nonprofit seeks to help people worldwide gain access to trustworthy news and information to make info informed decisions about their lives and hold power to account we train journalists and digital rights activists tackle disinformation and offer businesses its, its uh, expertise to help media outlets become financially uh, sustainable the website stated I'm not gonna read the rest of this man it's just a bunch of little bs but nevertheless man these devils are hurt, man. I don't want to look at her face. My goodness gracious. <laughs> I don't want to look at that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to read this down here. Uh, it says, Jor Rava claims that the EU is not trying to censor opinions or language. Yes, you are. As far as what steps... The EU is taking to prevent the spread of false information. She note, noted that social media companies are now forced by law to remove disinformation. She added that the last resort resort solution to solve the issue of so-called inaccurate information is law enforcement. Jarava pointed to the increase of anti, you see that word, and Noted that disinformation shared online could lead to physical threats. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Anyway, let me show another article. I got a couple articles that I'm going to show. Okay? I'm not going to read this one. I'm going to put it in the description box. It says, the World Economic Forum declares disinformation to be the world's greatest threat. All right? This is what Elder Yashawama goes into all the time. Okay, what's that? Uh, what's that word he uses? It's called uh, infodemic. Yeah, yeah. 
an infodemic, okay? So eventually what these devils going to do, they're just going to basically shut down this internet, okay? Let's go here. And I'm not going to read this article, okay? Ireland began to begin imprisoning YouTubers who pushes misinformation. So eventually, that's going to come here to Babylon, man, okay? All right? It's going to eventually come to Babylon because, hey, like it says, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That's pertaining to uh, Revelation 2 and 10. So I'm just going to show these articles. I'm not going to read them. It says, who unveils global police force to arrest citizens who post independent media online? So basically what they're doing is they want hardcore censorship, man. Want to arrest citizens if you're not... You know, telling the, their type of news, the type of information, or you're not re giving out that type of information that they want you to give out, you're a threat, okay? You're a threat, man. That's what they're basically saying. These devils, these elites, and this is what the elites want, because their plans are being revealed on a high volume, okay? Let's get this one. It says, kill gates of hell. Both AI will eradicate independent media from society. So they don't want independent media. They want you hate them. And basically, they've lost control of the narrative. They're going to show that these devils have lost control of the narrative, man. So what they want, they want you to take the information in that they want you to take in. Okay? So this truth is killing them, man. Let's get a few more descriptions. We're going to close this thing out, man. Okay, let's go to Amos 5 and 10. They hated him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Yeah, they hate the man of the Lord, man. Okay, not just independent news and with people telling the truth and revealing their plans, but really the man of the Lord been doing this for a long time, starting with our beloved elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. And the brothers on down, the light-minded brothers that teach the likewise doctrine of Great Millstone, man. Okay? So, what these devils want, hey, they don't really want the men of the Lord on the streets. They don't want the men of the Lord on this YouTube platform or any platform. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to shut down this internet, man. Too much truth is coming out about them. Okay? And we're getting very, very close to the famine of the word. We're going to get that scripture. Let's, read, let's skip down to verse 13. Therefore, the prudent shall keep silent in that time, for it is an evil time. So we're approaching evil times, man. So get this word and get this truth while you can. Because, hey, these devils are losing the info wars. They're losing the age. We're in the age of information, okay? I think it was Jay Rockefeller that said that the Internet should have never been invented, okay? So these devils are losing, man. <laughs> so what they going to do? Yeah. They're going to cut this internet off, man, eventually. Let's read this scripture. This is Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, how about she on shy power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, how about she on shy. So get this word while you still can, man. Okay, because time is winding down. Okay, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and, of course, you speckle bird is a nice little sky the monster heathen that look like the heathens. Okay? Time is winding now, man. So get this truth while you can. Because once this truth is gone, that's it. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the glory and how about me outside and shall not find it. You're not going to be able to find this word pretty soon. You're not going to be able to find the brother's channels on YouTube. Odyssey, bitch you, whatever platform we, you know, we on, okay? Because eventually they're going to shut this thing down, man. And we're getting dangerously close. So the Lord, how about she is about to close the mouths of the prophets. Ezekiel 3 and 26, okay? Ezekiel 3 and 26. And I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and thou shalt not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Our people rebelling. They don't want to hear this truth. They don't want to listen to this gospel. They don't want to listen to this word. So what's going to happen? The Lord Yahweh Shai is going to remove this word. Okay? He's going to stop the prophets from speaking. Okay? 
And we are very, very close to that happening, man. Okay? We are very close to that happening. So, hey, get this truth while you can, man. Because time is winding down. Okay? Right? The days are being shortened for the elect's sake. So, time is winding down. Get this truth while you can. Let me get another scripture and I'm going to wrap this thing up, man. I ain't intend for this to be long at all. And I will put those articles in the description box. You can read them. Uh, Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tearing and turn to the glory. How about Shinyal Shai? And put not all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the glory. How about Shinyal Shai come forth? And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? Made no turn to turn to the Lord because time is running out. Okay? These devils are hurt by this truth. They're hurt because they're being exposed day in and day out. Okay? So with that, I praise unless it was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go see how about Shem Yom Shai, Bashem, Rekakwadas, Shawn Walton next time, Kwam Yashrala, and Wild Baba Ball. Shawn Walton.